Hey everybody, welcome back to Everybody's Going to the Rapture. Uh, no, you're not. The radio telescope in Tower 6 is burned out. The background radiation coming in from the Penrose region is off the scale. It's like mathematics is bending along with the light. Everything is bathed in a strange glow. My face is still numb from the burn. From what burn? Oh, sick burn, bruh. I guess that's part of what I have to figure out. What burn is she talking about? <gasps> Context clues. And let's push this over. Bleh. And it went right back. Yeah. Ah, it's on the second floor. I mean, this is freaky. I would say there is a poltergeist in this house, if I ever did see one. But no, it's upstairs on the second floor. They need to re-wallpaper this place because uh, it's starting to bubble and come up in certain parts. Looks like they were getting ready to move. Is it in the hallway? No, it's in the room. It's in the room proper. I would never, under any normal circumstances. Who is this? One. How's your sister, Frank? We've not spoken since the funeral. Ah, I see. Well, uh, listen, I, I, I did rather wonder if you might do me a bit of a favor and check in on her, see if she's all right. Dr. Wade, if they drop the bomb, there'd be no left but cockroaches and Wendy Boyles. <laughs> it, it's a bit odd, really. There's an old chap, John Coles, regular visitor at Lakeside, went walkabout sometime last night. Now it appears Mrs. Boughton has done the same. Enid? Well, that'd be clever. They amputated her leg last spring. <laughs> yes, that's the thing. I've also got a surgery full of people with nosebleeds and headaches. The council are saying influenza, but I've been practicing for 35 years and I'm not convinced. I just wondered if you might pop by and see her. Even if I did, do you really think she'd let me in? Fine. Forget it. I'll see her. Leave it to me. Oh, and Frank, call the hospital and get them to collect all this stuff. It's been eight months. Hmm, so Wendy was his sister. And Stephen, it's been eight months since somebody died. Wow. So Wendy is his sister, and Stephen is his great nephew. No, Stephen is his nephew, excuse me. I'm sorry. Uh, Steven is his nephew. All right. Fair enough. Wow. So he worked on automotive stuff. Okay, fair enough. Don't know what you've been cooking for yourself, but... I mean, whatever. It's fine by me. Ooh, your toilet looks nasty. That's how you stack toilet rolls. Ah, he's one of the people who puts the toilet roll over instead of under. I do that myself. I've had it both ways, and I just prefer to pull over because you get a cleaner break when you um, when you pull off pieces for yourself than you do with under. You know, the roll tends to stay in place better instead of when you pull under the roll just unfurling and. It's like, oh my god, I got more than I wanted, and you got to re-roll it back up. I've done both. I've done both, and that's just my preference. Alright. I don't know why you needed to know that about me. I don't know why I said that. But hey, I guess, you know, we're all here together. Alright, there's another one here somewhere. Can I get through here? Commando style? Yeah, uh, 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 no. I almost glitched through the bushes. Would have been cool. But all right. Oh, there's a windmill over there. I have a feeling I'm eventually working my way towards the windmill. 
it's up, isn't it? Yep, because you are perpendicular with the ground. Yes. I'm glad I'm able to see these signs. I hung up on Stephen. He doesn't understand. Even if he were here to experience it directly, I'm still not sure he would. <sighs> there has to be a way of consolidating, of offering reciprocal amplification to the signal. All right. So it seems that they had a conflict of ideology. Stephen wanted to get rid of the stuff. Oh. Well then. Stephen wanted to get rid of the glowy, floaty stuff that was causing people's brains to explode and dissipate into beings of light. Whereas uh, Kate wanted to communicate with it. Wanted to... Is that a water tower over there? No. Wanted to communicate with it. Really wanted to find a way to bridge the gap so that there was some understanding established. And that's why he said, forget Kate. This, this, and this. It's her fault anyway. Got it. There's another house over here. Cool. Well. Now, I'm off the beaten path, but I think we're going the general direction. There's tends to be giant land markers as far as where you are. Kind of like where the game wants you to head. This a uh, old rundown place. It is very you creepy. Mean? Wade called me in about six weeks after, once he thought I could cope with knowing. Can I ever repay you for what you did? Jeremy. She was a good woman, Frank. The best. You should come back to church. Back to the community. You're missed. I hate him, Father. I can't get down on my knees and pretend otherwise. And I don't understand why you don't hate him, too. I try my hardest not to, Frank. It goes against the job description somewhat. Faith is the assurance of things hoped for. The conviction of things not seen. We have to trust him, even when his methods are hidden from view. Maybe see you on Sunday. Wow. So, Jerry assisted in Frank's wife's death. And Frank was thankful because his wife didn't have to suffer anymore. I'm not going to go down anymore. I want to go down by the pond edge because I think that there may be something there but Frank assist or Jeremy assisted with easing Frank's wife into the afterlife because I guess she had a, a painful existence um, and he was very thankful like she doesn't have to suffer anymore whereas Wendy was very angry about that like how dare you take um, the place of the Lord and determine what human life or what should be done with and about human life that was not your job that's not your place so that's where the division and the split came from and Frank hates God or you know the context or the sense of God in this game which tends to be you know uh, whatever God the church worships uh, the church has established Frank disagrees with him and he says that I can't get on my knees and pretend like I do when I don't and I don't understand why you don't either because horrible things are happening Wow, deep, deep, All right? What, what do you want? Get away from me. Oh, well then, and no, it's not that way. Oh baby. Breaker, Breaker 9, call in on 9. This is Lost Cowboy looking for anyone out there. Hello? 
Breaker 1-9. Breaker travel in Sherlock. Charlie, you out there? Over. My, my Hello? family, my, my wife there? and kids. You know perfectly well what you've got to do. I can't do it. Don't ask me to do it. You're asking me to sign their death warrant. My own family. Damn it, don't you think I'm aware of that? I'll still be here when you drop the fucking stuff. No. Don't you lecture me no. about sacrifice, you, you spineless stupid, little shit. stupid bastards. If you're so full of ideas, you come here and try dealing with it. Tell them the time when we had a choice is over. Tell them to do it. You've got to do it now. Yes. You indeed could drop a bomb. You can call for an airstrike. You can blow this whole town to bits. But Steven, that's not how energy works. Uh, uh, I think it's energy or it's matter. One of the two can neither be created nor destroyed. It just is. And it transfers from one state to another, still retaining its integrity for the most part. If my limited understanding is anywhere near correct, which I don't think it is. Um, so if these things are energy beings, if these things are light beings, then a simple explosion is not going to get rid of them. If anything, you're just going to get rid of all the quote-unquote organics that are in the area, and it's just going to travel somewhere else. Just like it got to Earth, just like it's spreading, that's the way that it's going to continue to travel. So, nothing short of maybe like high-powered magnetics is really going to change that. Under the microscope, you could see how the light was following the cellular structure of its wings. The neural simplicity of the insects seems to prevent a full-blown infestation, so there's none of the hemorrhaging I'm seeing in the birds. But Stephen's wrong. This isn't an attack. It's a byproduct of the attempt to communicate. It's getting smarter. It's learning as it adapts. I'm confident of a breakthrough soon. So wait the simplicity of, I, I, I knew that I had to go up towards the windmill or I'm saying that now I'll probably wander into the next area and be like no I didn't make it to the windmill how could I not have made it to the windmill I'm so stupid now the windmill is where I need to go and yes if I don't go exploring in this game I will miss things there's probably an award or achievement for finding every uh, light orb discussion and for uh finding all the telephone messages and radio messages. But I don't care. This is not the kind of game where I'm uber, like, I must, I must find it all. What's that noise? All right, so I guess I'll go back the way I came since that to me seems like it'll be the shortest route. And it'll give me time to ponder what's going on. So, basically, the simple nervous system of the insect prevents it from hemorrhaging and dying um, when uh, the energy being, which is what I'm going to consider it for right now, tries to communicate with it. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, because she didn't say that they were consumed by the light. She just said that it's learning, it's adapting, and it's continuing to try and communicate. Well, as a result of it trying to communicate, it's starting to eradicate the things that it's trying to communicate with. It's not an attack. That's just like, um... Oh, shoot. I think it was in a movie of Mice and Men, and it was the guy's bigger brother who I believe was autistic, he didn't really know his own strength. So when he tried to pet the puppy, he like crushed the puppy or the bunny or whatever it was. It's trying to communicate with us and by trying to do that, it doesn't realize his own strength 
and it's crushing the bunny. But, you know, unfortunately, there's nobody there to go, hey, whoa, 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 wait a minute. You're going about this the wrong way. You're way too strong for what you're trying to do. Maybe you need to rethink your approach. Which is, buh, freaking Nana's gonna hop this fence. Can't get into that derelict building. Wait. Yes, I can hop the fence. Thank you. Jeez. I'm like, I, I know I saw the cross beams there. Make me look like I'm crazy. Hmm. Huh. But okay. This is definitely interesting. It that's one thing I have to give to this game. It really does make me want to learn more. Like, man, what's going on here? It gives you just enough tidbits to Fit another puzzle. It just seems a bit odd that so she's just over the hill. Why can't Whoa. we go and collect her? You heard the radio. Try to minimize contact with different groups of people. It might be spreading that way. Besides, Father Jeremy told me that Lizzie Graves said they're all fine. They're still planning on putting on their show. So how does Father Jeremy know what's going on at the camp if we're all supposed to be staying at home? <sighs> a, a special dispensation for the clergy or something. I'm sure Rachel will be all right. She seems to live at the camp these days anyway. She's 16, Sam. It's going to happen. I was pregnant when I was 17. Yeah, well, that's why I'm worried about what Rachel gets up to. Come on, give me that other case. Oh. We'll still be here at midnight if we don't get a bloody move on. Can't understand why the car wouldn't start. I'll have to get someone out to take a look at it. Calling your wife a harlot, are you? The greatest of ways to get into her pants. Of course. But okay, so she was 17, Lizzie's 16, so she was 33 right there. Okay. Fair enough. What else is down this path of wonders, which is actually uh, absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous stroll through the forest. Um, Alright, so hopefully... They won't. Nah, I knew it. Don't just follow the path. How are you? Well, uh, you know, for, for the last 20 years as a semi professional, yes, I suppose you could call it that. Well, we run a club here, a mix of hobby stargazers and more serious scientists. They sometimes let us use the observatory telescopes. But normally, it's just a, a back garden sort of thing. Well, no, that's the thing. It's not like you need the Jodrell Bank to see it. There's just too many of them. Of course I'm serious. Go outside and count them. It's Orion, for God's sake. It's not difficult to find. Well, you tell me how many bloody stars are supposed to be on the belt, then. Ah. Uh... Okay. Oh, really, game? You were waiting for me to find that clue? <laughs> and then you resume your music? The sun changing is so crazy. It, like, fast-forwards and rewinds at almost will. I know it's due to the points of the game that I'm reaching, but... Man. Oh, no, I didn't want to close you. I wanted you to open. Okay, quarantine. All right, I got to find my way into this house now. This is a quarantine building. I probably won't be able to find my way in there, but it may have a phone. I am completely off the beaten path. I have no idea where I'm at. Should I have... Should I have been here? This feels familiar. Grill. Barrel grill. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've already been there. I've already been this way. So, tea made to go back. So, these things came. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went down that way. These things came from Orion's belt. That's very interesting to know. So that's what everyone was observing. And that's probably the star system that you see. Um during the night phases, the night transition phases, where you just, oh, excuse me, walk in between everything. 
you're seeing uh, the multitude of quote unquote stars around Orion's belt. Hmm. I wonder who that guy was reporting it to, though. Probably somebody who didn't take it as seriously as they should have. And now the ramifications and repercussions are finally starting to settle in. Like, eh, maybe this is normal. Oh, here's a road. Okay. There's a house along the road. Let's check this house out. Just see what this house has to offer. And if it's nothing, then I'll try and figure out where I'm supposed to be going. Next team A. This is the same exact house that I just walked away from. It's the same exact house that I just walked away from. All right, fine, whatever. Where's the windmill? Where's a map when you need one? Because I need one and I have no idea where a map is. Let me check this thing out over here. And I've got to be a human. I've got to be a human. Did I come this way? Because that door is open. I think I did. I'm so confused. i got to be human because I can hear my footsteps. Those things don't have a footstep. They just have that aura of resonance about themselves. It's just utterly creepy. But all right. I am actually going to cut the video here. I'm lost. I just should have kept walking down the path I was walking. Um, one of them is over this way. But I'm not supposed to be going back towards the city just yet. There's a forested path that I did not go down. And I don't want to go too much farther. You know, before I check to see if there are any treats that I may have missed in the far. So I'm going to cut the video here and we will resume this next time. So thank you so much for joining me. If you liked it, smash that like button like there's no tomorrow. Share the video with the world. Hit me up on Twitter and hit me up in the comment section below. Yeah, see this is the way I'm supposed to be going. And let me know what you think of the, of the videos thus far. And I'm the outlier and I will see you all in the next video.